Welcome to my review of Chess Vision AI. Um, I use Chess Vision AI for the following use cases. Finding positions in private and public chessable courses when analyzing games. To add videos to private and public chessable courses. To support my studying in forward chess to create flashcards and uh, I'm going to show you how I use the Chess Vision ebook reader to very efficiently convert diagrams in PDFs to chess based game files. Um, so when you look at Chess Vision AI there are basically three things. There's a browser extension for Chrome, there's a video app and there's an ebook reader. Uh, so we're going to start with the browser extension and the video app, and then I will close out with the ebook reader. And there is a mobile app, and the mobile app contains the browser extension and the video app. So I have that on my iPhone, and you can take a picture of a position and then analyze it. Uh, just as you do on the web and I'm going to show you and um, you can search for chessable courses, you can search for games, you can search for videos. So what you see on the screen is a Leech study of one of my students and um, I ask my students when they play over the board to put their games into a Leech study so we can analyze them together. And um, I'm going to activate the Chrome extension and you can see there are three chessable courses and four games and if I click games it takes you to the chess games database of chess.com and it shows you the four games in which this specific position occurred. So let's return. Let's now go to Chessable and you can see that on my second tab I'm already logged into Chessable. And now when I go to the courses, you can actually see that there are four courses because it also lists my private course. And if I double click on my private course, it takes you immediately to the relevant, um, it takes you to the relevant variation so it doesn't takes you only to the course but it selects the variation and this only works when you are locked into chessable if it's if you want to find positions in your private courses so let's go to chessable and you can see here this is my course the Dubov explosive italian and so what i have been doing uh, when it comes to my public courses and private courses, I have been adding videos because I noticed that people learn in different ways. I have a student who says, I'm learning my openings by watching Gollum Chess videos. I always thought that it was a bit passive, uh, but um, of course people learn in different ways. So when we go to this position, the famous game from Daniel Dubov against Sergei Kayakin from 2020, and I activate here Chess Vision AI Scanner, and it is white to move, so this is correct. You can see that there are more than 10 videos and six chessable courses and three games. Now, if I go to the video search you can see here all the different videos in which this position specifically is covered and when i click on this video it immediately Terrible. takes me to the position after queen e8 so it doesn't take you to the relevant video alone it takes you to the timestamp to the moment in uh, at which this position occurred and so what I have been doing is adding to my public courses um, these videos and unfortunately I cannot do it in a hyperlink but I have to give the full 
uh, URL. So which videos are actually uh, supported by Chess Vision AI? Because um, of course there are millions of chess videos. So here you can see the YouTube channels that are covered um, in this search. So I get Mater, of course it's a big one, chess.com, Chess Based India, Chess Dojo, uh, Andrea Stott, um, Daniel Naraditsky, Eric Rosen, Ginger GM, Ben Feingold, Hikaru, Gotham Chess, Hanging Ponds, uh, King, King's Crusher, uh, Power Play Chess, which is Daniel King, St. Louis Chess Club. And you can also see here um, that I can search for videos using a board explorer, so just by inputting moves. I can do a video search and then there are different filters. I can look for a game face, I can look for position, openness, closed, and I can look for pawn structure and specific themes like uh, opposition or a lead in development and things like that. So this is the video app and in the video app there is also a diagram library and I want to show you this. So whenever you uh, do a scan in your mobile app it's being added here and uh, Pavel the developer of Chess Vision AI is extending this functionality and I think in the future this will be the place to go for your flashcards. So at the moment of course you can save them, you can have a description, but there will be a lot more functionality added. And I think that's very exciting So um, to have them so readily available and also so easily made. So you just take a picture of a position after you played it um, on chess.com or on Lee Chess, you add it to your diagram library with a description and you have your flashcard and then in the future there will be extended functionality to train upon it. So that's the um, video app. Let's go to Forward Chess and let me show you. Here you can see my books in Forward Chess. Um, I'm a fan of Graham Jones and uh, course I checked my Scotch Gambit course on Chessable against his coffeehouse repertoire. So let's go there. So you can see here a position and um, this is the position after 16 rook a to e1 and if I activate in this position the diagram scanner you can see there are three Chessable courses, so let's have a look. Right, so you can see my Scotch Gambit course, Gotham Chess, and then you can see Ironstone, uh, used to be a very active student of my Scotch Gambit, has now created his own course with the Scotch Gambit. Um, so you can again link to Chessable courses when you are in Forward Chess. Let's return, and you can also see again where this position has been played when I go to um, chess.com the only thing is is that um, the, in the chess.com database you will also get the title Tuesday games with funny ratings because they're the online ratings I recorded the video on this first uh, game uh, by Anita Gara against uh, Boklaka Erdos it's like really a model game for how to uh, um, exploit the c5 square in the Scotch Gambit. So you can immediately go to this chess games database when you're studying in forward chess. And then, of course, also what you can do, you can say, oh, well, this is an interesting position. I would like to study this on the chess. And um, you can just immediately take this position to Lee chess. And then you can say, okay, I'm interested to see, for instance, what are people in Lee Chess playing in this position? And I can select on the relevant 
range and then say okay in this position in 58 percent of the cases bishop f5 was played and of course i can also use the fan here and then start practicing this position against a bot just to get myself more familiar and this is the way i think is a very strong uh, use case of chess vision that you can look for chessable courses you can look for the relevant games you can take it to lead chess you can also start um, the very powerful analysis that you have in um, in in lead chess so um, that's also supported if you are in an application that is not so strong with regards to the um, with regards to the engines, some are still on Stockfish 11 or something like that. So this is the ebook reader. So that's the third application. So we just looked at the browser extension, the video app, and now we're going to the ebook reader. So you can see here my documents. And um, here, let's open one of the documents. And you can see this is from the steps method from step six extra for uh, players I think more in the range of 2000 to 2200 and this is a sample page from the new and chess web shop and uh, you can see here the first diagram and um, if I double click on this diagram right you can see on this side immediately that there are seven chessable courses with this position there is one game with this position and there is one video with this position so again this is a very powerful tool when you are having a pdf and you are for instance assigning homework to a student you can of course you can um, analyze this position right you can see what is the best move and you can see here um, immediately I get this leeches environment and I can increase the depth it's immediately at depth 30 um, which is and this is very convenient but I also wanted to show you something else so imagine that as a teacher you have assigned this as homework to one of your students he gets the answer not right it's incorrect and you highlight it and you would like to have this diagram as a position in chess base so you can see here i can copy the fan right so it's one click and now i go to chess base and chess base has immediately without me pressing any buttons created the relevant position and the only thing i have to do is press ok Right, and then I can here look at the reference, and I can see this is a game uh, by Tikwan Petosian, uh, a model game, and I can now save this game, and I have it available for my lesson with my student. So this is again a very powerful use case for um, Chess Vision AI. Let me return and let me finally show you the subscription plans. So the pricing of Chess Vision AI depends on which country you live in. Um, so it's uh, separated into the mobile app, the browser extension and the video app. So the mobile app is, you could say, the browser extension and the video app on your on your um, iPhone or whichever phone you have or your iPad and the ebook reader is completely separate so I bought an annual subscription to both of them they're both for the United States $46 for a total of 92 and then if you combine them you get a package deal and you get an 11 dollar discount and the total price is 82 dollars 
Um, I think it's totally worth it if you look at everything that's doing it for me, improving my courses, improving my uh, uh, coaching of students and improving my books on Chessable. Um, I'm really uh, happy with uh, Chess Vision AI and I fully recommend it. Thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe and like this video.